In the last video, we built our task manager application using Ruby on Rails that uses the new Hotwire framework. Now, Hotwire enables Turbo Drive by default. So all the links and forms use Turbo Drive and the browser doesn't have to fully reload the page. So for example, if I add a new task and hit save, you can see the browser did not reload. Hotwire made a fetch request to the server and upon receiving a response, it replaced the whole body of the current page with the body from the response. So that's how our application looks so responsive and more of a single page like application. Now, this is of course an enhancement over the traditional web applications, but we can go even further. So for example, if I want to edit a task, it still takes us to a new page. I mean, it's using Turbo Drive and it's not reloading the page, but it's still a different page. And when you click save, it takes us back to the list of tasks. Now it would be a better user experience if the users could edit these tasks in line without navigating to a different view. So when you click edit, a form should replace the task. And when you hit save, the updated task should replace the form. So can we do that? And the answer is yes, we can do that using Turbo Frames. So before we show the code, uh, let's understand what are Turbo Frames and how are they different from Turbo Drive? For that, let me take you to the blog post that I wrote on this topic. Uh, you can find the link in the description. Here we have the browser and we have the server. Now the way Turbo Drive works is when you click a link or submit a form, Turbo makes a fetch request to the server, like a standard web application. It receives the response from the server and upon receiving the response, it keeps the head and all the persistent JavaScript processes, but replaces the body of the page with the body from the response. So you can see the section marked in blue that the whole thing gets replaced. Now, in contrast, Turbo, the way Turbo Frames work is you don't replace the whole page, you just replace the specific section, which is much more efficient because why do we need to change the header if it's not changing? We can keep all the elements on the page that did not change as it is and only replace the section that we are interested in by marking it as a Turbo Frame. So the way it works is you mark a, an element on the page as Turbo Frame you give it an ID and when all the links and the forms on that in that section, uh, when you click them or submit the form, it makes a request to the server and in response, the server sends the HTML back and upon receiving the response, Turbo only fetches the section marked as Turbo Frame with the specific ID from the response and replaces this section with that. So. That's how Turbo Frames work. So again, to reiterate, you mark a, an element on the page as Turbo Frame with a specific ID, and upon receiving the response, Turbo replaces that element with the response Turbo Frame with, with the matching ID. So with that understanding, let's uh, add Turbo Frames to our application using two simple steps. So here we have, just to show the uh, architecture of the application, we have a standard Rails app where we have a list of app, list of tasks and we have an action for edit. And uh, here's the task partial. The first thing we'll do is we'll wrap this partial in a turbo frame. and we'll also give it a ID. And we already have that defined here. Okay, so that's for the task partial. Next, we want to replace, so when you click edit, so here's the edit button. When you click edit button, Turbo is going to make a fetch request to the server. It's going to respond with the edit partial. 
and so to we need to mark this edit partial with a turbo frame as well but we only need to show the form right so we'll only add wrap this section in the inner turbo frame so let's just uh, replace this div with a turbo frame and that's it we are done so if we reload the page so nothing has changed here but if i click edit now you can see it uh, did not take us to a new page but it rendered the form in line and if we edit the task and hit save it again replaces the that form with the specific task now it's kind of hard to visualize the turbo frames so let's add some style around them so we'll go to application.css and uh, we'll add style for the turbo frame now remember these turbo frames are just custom HTML elements so you can style them as you would any standard HTML element like div so let's make them block we'll add a border let's add let's uh, add some radius to make it look pretty we'll add some padding and let's give it some margin okay so let's reload the page and you can see we have five turbo frames here each with its own id so if we open dev tools you can see we have five frames and each has its unique id and the reason we need unique id is that it helps turbo drive sorry turbo frame to identify which turbo frame to replace upon receiving a response so let's uh, open the network tab and we'll click edit and you can see in the response we received turbo frame with the edit partial and even though we received this html what turbo frame will do is uh, it will only fetch the find the turbo frame with the matching id so this section and it will replace this uh to task with this frame which contains the form okay so let's edit that and hit save and again when we render the tasks you can see in the response we have this whole html but it will only replace the turbo frame with the matching id and rest of the html is ignored so this has added benefit that we can either fully reload the page and it will show everything and or we can use turbo frame and only that section is replaced now there is one small improvement we can make in the code if you take a look at the html we are manually writing the turbo frame tag and passing it an id but rails has this um, library called turbo rails that makes it easy to use turbo features in our rails app so for example we can for turbo frames we can use the helper called turbo frame tag and pass it a model and that takes care of uh, creating the id and building the tag and uh, using that rendering that in the html so let's replace these tags with a turbo rails helper and now we'll get rid of the, these tags and this gets compiled to the exactly the same sint syntax we had before but it's e easier to read and easier to write so that's task partial and let's replace this guy with the helper again
Now if we reload the page, you can see nothing has changed and you can still click edit and everything works as expected. So that's how turbo frames work. So thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you understand how turbo frames work and how you can use them to make your application more responsive. If you like this video, please uh, let me know in the comments. I look forward to your feedback. Thanks for watching.